Hi, Mr. B here, and today's topic is learning styles. Since becoming a teacher, I have always had an interest in learning styles. And that's because I believe everyone learns differently, and that's what learning styles are. They're different ways that people learn. And I think this picture can give you an idea of what I'm talking about. On the left, a girl is putting together a model plane by reading the instructions. On the right, we have a boy who is putting together the same plane by visualizing it in his head. Each of these people is using a different learning style. One of the pioneers of learning styles was Howard Gardner. In 1983, he identified seven types of intelligences or ways that people learn. He had an eighth way in 1997. Those types of intelligences or ways of learning are depicted on this graphic. Up at the top, we have linguistic. Then we have logical, mathematical, musical, intrapersonal, interpersonal, bodily, kinesthetic, and spatial. At the bottom, we have naturalistic, which is the one he added later. Bodily kinesthetic has to do with bodily movement and physiology. Those persons with this learning style learn best when movement is part of an activity. They are generally good athletes and are often good at building and making things. Persons with musical intelligence have a good sense of rhythm, music, and hearing. If you like to use songs to remember information or work best with background music, this is you. If you've ever seen the Schoolhouse Rock series, Conjunction Junction, What's Your Function? or I'm Just a Bill, Yes, I'm Only a Bill, they're using a musical style to get their message across. A visual spatial learner is good at seeing things in his or her head. If you remember the first picture I showed you, the boy on the right was using a visual spatial way of learning. These people are generally good artists and are usually really good at solving puzzles. If your goal is to be an engineer or an architect, then you probably fall into this category. Naturalistic learners enjoy being outdoors. They enjoy collecting things and classifying things. If they are able to relate new topics to prior knowledge, they are more successful. Interpersonal learners like to interact with other people. If you're given a choice to work alone on a project or work with other people, and you choose the group, you're probably an interpersonal learner. This type of learner is sensitive to others' needs and communicates well with others. A verbal linguistic learner is a wordsmith. He or she enjoys reading and writing. If you like classes that have a lecture format, then this is your style. Intrapersonal learners are usually introverts. They keep their feelings inside, and for them that really works well. They know who they are, and they know their strengths and weaknesses. This learning style is a little bit opposite the interpersonal style we talked about before. This person will usually choose to work by him or herself when given a choice. Logical mathematical learners like to work with logic, reasoning, and numbers. This type of learning style really correlates well what we would, with what we would normally call IQ. This person loves games like chess and would really enjoy writing a computer game. Now you may have more than one learning style and what you'll find is you may have one or two areas that are strong and one or two hours areas that are weak. So the question is what is your learning style? Now one way to find out your learning style is to take a learning styles quiz and one I like can be found on the Edutopia website which is right here if you want to know the spelling. So on that site up in the upper right hand corner you type in learning styles quiz and you do a search and you'll get a list of results and the one you want to go to is the top one that says what's your learning style so you click on that it will take you to a small quiz there are only 24 questions it does not take that long to take and once you get done there will be four pages and you click on submit and it will give you your learning styles. So that's learning styles. I encourage you to check it out. I really think it will help you in school.